Welcome to part five days eight and nine of my Facebook marketplace live dropshipping case study where I show you guys everything that I'm doing on my Facebook marketplace dropshipping account so that you guys can get inspiration to do the same for yours and have your own success story. And in days eight and nine, I already managed to get 29 sales on my Facebook marketplace store. And I will show you those products and where I got them from. I'll also show you how customer service helped me get some more sales. So quick intro and let's go. Alrighty, let's get the show on the road. What happened on the fifth part of our Facebook Marketplace live case study on days eight and nine? Let's jump right into it. One second before that, if you're new to our YouTube channel, this is the part where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. So subscribe to our videos, hit that like and share this video if you appreciate the value so that your friends and family can also learn about the wild and amazing world of dropshipping. So what happened on this fifth part of the case study? Let's go ahead and take a look. So here are the products that I have on my store through my AutoDS account. If you've watched the previous videos, you'll know exactly how I'm adding these products. And as you see, I've got 80 products on my store now. So on days eight and nine, 80 products on my store. That's an average of almost 10 products added per day from my virtual assistant. Here is a product, the flying ball infrared, as you can see here. And as you can see here on the right side, the cell IDs or the source IDs where I'm getting these products from. The last set of products that I added to my Facebook marketplace store is from Banggood, as you can see right here. I just clicked on the source link and I went straight to the source product site. So as you can see, all of these products are from Banggood. And the reason for that is because Banggood gives us UPS, USPS and FedEx tracking labels. And we need that so that Facebook can see exactly what's going on with our packages and we'll get our payments much faster that way. That's a quick tip for you if you're wondering which suppliers you should use when dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace. Amazon is also OK, but sometimes they'll give you shipping carriers that are not what I just mentioned. And then it'll be hard for the buyer to track his progress, to track the progress of his delivery and see what's going on with this package. And if he opens an item not received case, it's going to be harder for you to prove that the product did reach its destination. So in the last set of items that I added to my store through my virtual assistant, I went with Banggood. Now I want to talk a little bit about customer service because customer service really helped me get some sales. Here are my listings on the, my Facebook store. You can see that flying ball that we just saw in Banggood and I have 11 orders waiting to be shipped. Now, as you can see down here, I have a couple of messages. One customer asked me right here, her name is Irene, does it say how much they will load and what you can stick to it, like paint, wallpaper, etc. This is a 27 piece uh, wall clip hanger. So basically what Irene here wants to know is when we're using these wall hook hangers, what is the maximum amount of capacity that these wall hooks can hold and also what type of products can we put on those wall hooks? So what I simply did was I used AutoDS to get to the supplier site really quickly on that same product and give her the answer from there. So here I pasted the answer application can be used on a variety of surfaces such as glass cabinets, etc. Very stable, very powerful with more product information there. So I don't need to read it here. You can see the answer that I gave her down here. And you can see right after that, she wrote, I just ordered them. So that's another sell that I got really easily by simply giving her an answer that I had on my supplier's site. So what happened here was a customer simply asked a question on one of the products. What I did was I went to my supplier's website to get the answer from there and I gave her the answer through Facebook chat. Now, if you guys watch my previous videos on the Facebook marketplace, I mentioned how the customer service there is really great because when a buyer has a problem or if they simply want to ask any question about the product before purchasing, they simply reach out to you using Facebook chat and then they can see that they're actually interacting with a real human and not some robot. So it gives them more confidence to reach out to you and ask any questions before they actually go and buy. And here is a perfect example for that. Once you give them the answer, they'll have the confidence to go and purchase. Here is another customer who wrote, do you have more? How much will I pay? if I buy more than one. This is for the white LED product that's actually a bestseller on my Facebook store. I will show it to you soon. And in this case, I'm not profiting so much, so I couldn't give him a, a, any type of discount. But if you do have enough profit margin, like 40% and up, I'm working at this point with a lower profit margin because I want to get this store to start working. But now that we reached almost 30 sales in just eight days, 
I'm ready to start turning up my profits, just like I'm doing on my eBay dropshipping stores, Shopify, and other marketplaces. Same thing goes here. Now is the time to up those prices and profits. Now I'm going to open up my notifications so you can see not just how many products are selling, but how fast they are actually selling on my store. So let me click on my notifications right down here. And as you can see, eight hours ago, 12 hours ago, 13 hours ago, 14 hours ago, 15 hours ago, 16 hours ago, 18 hours ago. So almost every hour I have at least a couple of sales and you can see that through here through my notification screen. Over there you'll also see when buyers are sending you messages so always be sure to check out your notifications and see what's happening on your Facebook marketplace store. Now I'm going to click on shipping orders so that you guys can see what products are actually selling on my store. So here are those warm crotchet hooks, the white LED outdoor which Kei Lani here asked a question. And as you see, those two products are actually my best sellers out of all the products that I tested so far. And as you can see, people are also buying more than the quantity of one. Like the warm crotchet hooks, for example, are being sold for $15, but here you can see the latest sell is for $30 because someone bought two. Same thing goes for those white LED lights. They cost $35 for the quantity of one. And as you can see here, someone bought it for $70 because they bought two units. So that's another thing that I recommended in my previous videos to add more than the quantity of one on these best selling products that you're getting from your suppliers. And if you guys still don't know how to research for the right products to sell on the Facebook marketplace, watch our Facebook marketplace videos on our YouTube channel and you'll learn everything. Now let's take a look at the profit margin for one of these best selling products. Let's go with the white LED light outdoor solar power our lights right here so i found it on auto ds i'm just going to click on the source id to see it on my supplier site in this case it's banggood so as you see here i'm buying this product for 26 dollars and 24 cents and i'm selling it respectively for 35 dollars the only fee that i'm paying here is a five percent transaction fee from the buying price from 35 dollars i'm paying that to facebook and the rest is my profit here is the product that i sold twice as you can see quantity two for 35 bucks a pop that's 70 dollars total in just one transaction. So those two products are my best sellers out of all of the 29 products that sold in the last eight to nine days when I first created this account. And as you can see, customer service also helped me out here. One last thing that I wanna show you guys before I wrap up this video, if you guys wanna know how to add virtual assistants that will help you run your dropshipping stores, just like I have going on my account, all you need to do is on AutoDS, click on settings on the left side, then click on the users tab on the top, and here you want to add your first virtual assistant user. For this feature to be enabled, first make sure that you have it activated on your plans and add-ons. The VA users here on the bottom. Once it's activated on users, click on add user and add your first virtual assistant. As you can see here, you can give them privileges to what you want on your store. So for example, you can let them view and edit your active products delete drafts, view and edit orders, handle customers' messages and cases, and more. So here, for example, I'm going to give my VA a name, her email address, give her a password, give her privileges on some of your stores, all of your stores, or one store, what things you want them to have access to on your stores. All right, so once your virtual assistant account is ready, simply give them the login information that you created right here, and they can already go log in and start working on your Facebook Marketplace store. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you ask me, getting 29 sales in just a little over a week from creating the account is actually great progress for a new dropshipping store. I hope that this video will give you guys inspiration to go ahead and start for yourself. I'm going to leave links to full Facebook marketplace tutorials under this video so that you can learn more from A to Z if you haven't gotten started yet. Good luck with your Facebook dropshipping stores. See you in the future videos.